Okay, we have the head in place, we have got the fly bar cage in place. Now we need to fix the fly bar seesaw. Now there is a certain way that the fly bar seesaw goes and fix across on the house. If you look closely, there is a kind of a small bush here, that's a brass bush, and also there's a hole here with a thread on it. The hole, that's a threaded hole, should be facing the ball link of the rotor. You have to be very careful with that. Meaning the hole here should be facing this side. What will happen is some of you might even turn around and fix the fly bar seesaw in, in this manner wherein the hole is this side. So this literally will not work. So once you start fixing up the entire cage then you will realize that you have done a mistake and you will have to remove the entire seesaw back again. So just to reinforce again, you fix it in such a manner So that, yeah, here we go. So that we have the hole facing the um, uh, the ball link of the main rotor. Now what I've done is I've already gone ahead and placed some lock right across over here. So I will go ahead and fix this in place right now. Not too tight. Again, I need to impress one uh, point across ways. Do not over tight the screws, the Loctite, let the, let, the, let, the, let the Loctite work on its own. Once you start over tightening the screws, what happens is you start stripping the screws and then you will be in a little bit of a trouble across over here. See to it that the screw is properly seated. Yeah. Yeah, I have uh, fixed the seesaw here. Placed Loctite already across over here. You can see it's quite smooth. Again, uh, the hole across over here facing the uh, ball link holder. The hole across over here facing the ball link holder. Now what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fix the fly bar cage across over here. Take the fly bar rod. Yeah, here you have it. So literally a head is almost getting into a completion right now. Now take the grub screw. Do not apply Loctite right now because we are going to come back to that later once we start taking dimensions in equidistance later. Very lightly just tighten it. Okay, one more thing is um, I've seen many people just trying to force uh, force fit the screws across where yeah. I have from my experience basically is uh, you know whenever you put across a screw take across a certain thread back so that you can actually hear a small click sound I could hear that now and go ahead and tighten it. Yeah, we have the head in place right now. Now what we need to do is we need to go and uh, fix the arms, the fly bar arms and uh, literally we'll start doing the washout arms and the washout base and the swash plate in the next uh, segment of the film. Hi, now we are going to fix up the mixing arms to the fly bar seesaw. Now see, I have already checked for Loctite on these ball links, they are fine. Let's fix the screw here and you'll see there's a very small washer here. Don't forget to place the washer on the other side of the mixing arm. Let's put some Loctite. Yep, let's go ahead and fix this. Yep, nice and smooth. 
we've got one flapper mixing on fixed already let's go ahead and fix the other side so I've gone ahead and fixed the mixing arms on both the sides both of them are very smooth no slop no slop well uh, let me just zoom in here I can see a, a very slight close to about an mm of slop here but I think that's quite normal if some people don't like to have these they can actually insert a very very tiny tiny very thin wash across over here if they want to but I don't think so that it doesn't make much of a difference but it's all fine to go yeah it's all fine to go so we have the head ready now now the next segment of the video will be um, to start fixing up the frame we'll have the entire frame opened up now see how it goes out from there